All right. Uh, we're disappointed in the outcome. Um, but I thought the guys played a good football game. Uh, and I was proud of the way that they competed and they played against a good football team, a very good football team, and particularly here at home in, in front of the uh, home fans, which we haven't been very good so far this year. So uh, I, I was proud about that. Um, by a long shot, we were not perfect, but we still we're in the game until the end. And, and that's the thing that I've been telling these guys all along, that if they will, all right, play with energy, effort, and attitude like that, they can be in the game until the end and give themselves a chance to win. And so that's what we're going to try to focus on going forward uh, to finish out this season and try to put some wins uh, in the win column so that we can finish out the season. Uh, I thought the quarterback managed the game, which we asked him to do. I thought Jamal Charles ran hard, got over 100 yards rushing, and that was helpful to us. I thought the offensive line did a nice job of blocking uh, in the running game and protecting in the pass game. Um, the receivers, uh, they weren't as active in this game as they have been in the past. Um, but they did a nice job of blocking to help us with the running game. Uh, the defense, I thought the defense, particularly early on, they were uh, fired up. They were right on uh, getting Peyton Manning off the field on a consistent basis in that first half uh, was really good. Uh, we slid back a little bit at the end of the game when we needed to, to stop them, to get them off the field and allow them to make some plays in the running game and in the passing game at the end that cost us field position. Uh, when you're going against a guy like Peyton, keeping him on the sideline is important. Uh, field position football is important. And uh, so at the end, uh, we slipped up and didn't do enough of it. Um, but like I said, I'm proud of the way that they fought today. And we'll have to keep fighting like that so that we can put some wins in the win column uh, to finish this season out. With that, I'll open it up. Romeo, you had praise for Brady Quinn. You had praise for Jamal Charles. You had praise for your offensive line, but still no touchdowns today. Looking forward, where, where are you guys going to get points in, in these next five games? Well, if we keep playing, you know, and give ourselves a chance, then we will make some plays to put some points on the board. You said it would take perfect football to beat these guys. Four false starts. Well, yes, we had some false starts. Now, just listen to me now. Just let me explain. You asked the question, I want to explain. Part of the reason, part of the problem on the false starts was they were making some defensive checks at the time we were making our call, all right? And so the official, he doesn't know whether it's a defensive check or what exactly has happened. And so we jumped because we thought it was part of the, uh, the huddle thing, part of the quarterback command. And so we jumped two times on that. You talked about sliding back defensively, Romeo. Do you feel like the pass rush slid back in the second half that you weren't as aggressive as you were the first half? No, I didn't think that at all. We slid back in the running game. That's where we slid back. We had them pinned back, and if we can stop them, they were running the ball. We can stop, stop the run. Now they're going to have to punt, and then the offense has the ball again in good field position. So talk about Stevenson a little bit. I mean, he handled Doomerville. I didn't hear Dumerville's name really much today. Well, I thought he did a nice job for his first start out there going against good pass rushers because he had Dumerville um, and he had 58, both of them, you know, both of them, Vaughn Miller. So uh, I thought he represented himself very well. Romeo, on the uh, fourth and six, about six minutes left in the game before he punted, you called a timeout? Yeah. Why did you have to call a timeout there? Well, because uh, I was considering going for it. But then I decided not to go for it, and so I punted the ball. What led to that decision one way or another? What was the deciding factor? Well, the fact that we uh, ended up being third and six, and then we still had uh, time enough on the clock to let the defense go out there and try to get the stop um, that we would need to get. 17 points. If I told you at noon you'd give up 17 points, you, you might have taken that against a team average in 30. Uh, just... Only if we win. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about earlier in the game? Three, you're up three nothing. Get it to fourth and two inside the five. Take the field goal instead of going for it there when it would seem like field goal is probably not going to be enough to win. What went into that? Well, how do you know that at that point in the game? I don't, I don't think you know that at that point in the game. So I took the points on the board because I thought points on the board were important. Romeo, Adam asked about the offense earlier. Have you seen the offense? Have you seen improvements, some, some progress in the last like, three weeks or whatever it's been since? I thought it was better today, you know, because uh, we were able to run the ball, we were able to protect the passer, and so it was better today. A couple more. Romeo, was uh, Cluster the only injury today? Uh, yes. Lewis? 
Uh, Luz had a shoulder. Yeah. Same shoulder? Is it back to where he was? No, well, I, you know what? I think it was the other shoulder, and uh, they didn't say exactly what it was. So um, they'll evaluate him, and then we'll find out. Last one, Dan. Uh, the television cameras caught you and Coach Dable going back and forth in the first half on the fourth and one where you guys ended up going for it. Mm -hmm. What What was going on there? Oh, just a friendly discussion between coaches. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs>